Hey guys, this is Ed with CMC Reptiles. Gonna, going to do another rat video. Just an update on breeding and cleaning, on what I use, all that good stuff. It is getting close to winter time. Uh, temperatures are getting really cold at night. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this air conditioner, get the window back opened, and set up the heater for the nighttime temps. So I have a programmable heater that I use that keeps the temps in here in the high 60s, low 70s through the winter time. And this is before cleaning. So you could see the rats kick up all kinds of bedding. And you can see right here the buildup from the rats kicking up the bedding, plus the food, the dust in the food, and all the air circulation in this room between the fan and the air conditioner going 24 seven. It blows this stuff. It just creates dust everywhere. It sucks up into the air. So this is something I have to do every five to seven days at the most cleaning. Uh, I try to do five, but I never go past seven days. And yeah, I'll get started. I'll show you what I use uh, for bedding and cleaning products and all that other stuff. All right, guys, first thing for the, just for the bedding alone, I use the uh, Mallard Creek triple screen shavings. These are just pine shavings. And then for the first layer, of, I just use the pine pellets. I get them from my local feed store. They have everything I need. I keep the shavings in just a 30 gallon barrel with the cover on it. Keeps them nice and clean. Yeah, I just use some uh, antibacterial dish soap and the Chlora Extine. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The blue stuff. So I put a couple of capfuls of that in there and with some antibacterial dish soap, hot water, and then I start scrubbing tubs. Also have two towels ready. Got my green waste bin for all the old litter to dump into have my tub to transfer the rats while I'm cleaning them and a couple of buckets for the pregnant females and most important thing cup of coffee all right guys so first thing I do is I put these rats um, in a just a holding tub and I do one tub at a time I don't sit there and load five tubs in one of these because I like to keep these colonies together because this is all females with one male and they're really sweet rats and mainly because I handle them a lot because I'm always cleaning them. So these are great pets too. I actually sell these. So a couple of people actually buy it for pets. So they're not bitey or at all. They're real sweet and healthy rats. All right guys, so it is important to get this, these cleaning these tubs. What I do is I get a nice sponge full and I just scrub these things from top to bottom. It is so important to scrub these tubs and disinfect them every single week, every time you clean. You definitely don't, you don't want to just dump the litter and then put new litter in. You want to disinfect these tubs so your rats will stay healthy and clean. They don't get any kind of viruses or bacterias or anything like that. Okay, so after you rinse and dry your tub, I usually put just about three scoops of the pine pellets just on the bottom. And then I go with the triple screen pine shavings and I'll fill it. This is a deep breeder tub. So this is a, uh, this is one you put, colony, I put my colonies in. So at least bring the bedding up halfway almost. And because you got six rats in here and you want them to have plenty of bedding. All right, so now I got one layer done. As you can see, I sanitize all the stainless steel and I do one row at a time 
The other thing I have to do is get separate buckets to hold. They got some pregnant females in here, as you can see right there. Um, so I'll hold the pregnant females until I have clean nurseries for them because they'll get their own nursery. And then I actually had a couple of moms actually giving birth. So I put those in separate buckets also by themselves. This way none of the babies get hurt or injured. All right guys, so now I'm halfway through. I got all the breeder tubs, the holdback tubs. Those are all clean. Now I go to the nursery tubs. So I have four layers. I have about eight, nine, 10, 12 moms to place in these nursery tubs. So what I do is I take the moms that have decent sized pups and smalls, then I put them in the holdback racks and they'll stay in there and the moms will be placed in the nurseries. This way they have their own little space. They're by themselves and they're not mixed in with other rats. Average litter too, guys, from a healthy rat is 10 to 12 babies. Nice healthy babies. Good mom. They take care of their own, but yeah, she, when I do change them, she right away brings them to the back and uh, starts nursing them again. So yeah, 10 to 12, I get, biggest one I've had is like 18 in a litter. Some of the bigger females. This is a small female, as you can see right there. It's not a very large female, but when you give it the right food, the right care, these guys produce some really healthy animals. All right, guys, so I'm all finished. Uh, four and a half hours later, it's about what it took me. Today took a little longer because I had so many pregnant females. So I had to separate those females out, put them in their nursery tubs. So I have about 28 pregnant females this week. For me, that's a lot, that's a good week, uh, especially this time of year, the temps are cooling down, so they're breeding a lot more. We're out of that heat wave where we were in the hundreds for most of the summer, so it really sucked. Um, I got the air conditioner out, as you can see, and I got the heater set up. So, because our nights are getting down in the low 40s now, so these guys need to be a lot warmer, where I keep the temperature in this room between 65 and 75 degrees, so it works out really well. I use the these little wipes right here to uh, sterilize all the stainless steel, all the water nozzles, to make sure you could see the difference before and after when I showed you before I started cleaning, how dusty that, that food dust, it gets all over the place because of the air circulation in this room between the air conditioner and the fan going. It just kicks up all that dust. But now that the air conditioner is gone, I just have the fan and the heater blowing. So there's a lot less to that food dust and that uh, the dust from the triple screen pine shavings and even the pine pellets. So again, I use the triple screen, the pine pellets, Missouri rodent brand right here. This is the breeder's brand, 6F. So I make sure these rats eat the best. Also water, that's the water I use. They only drink crystal geyser spring water and that's what those guys get. So these guys get the best, healthiest, everything I could give them to keep them healthy and strong and to keep breeding. I do sell these rats to a few local pet owners and I also have sold some for pets too. So either or if you're local and you need some rats, yeah, you can get in contact me at cmcreptiles at gmail.com and I can set you up on uh, weekly rats. So again, I'm all done. I'll start it all over again next Saturday and uh, it's, it's a lot of work. It takes at least one day a week of my time to clean these guys. Before it was Friday, now I moved to Saturday, and it's much easier to do this time of year when the temps are cooler. I don't have to worry about the rats overheating when I have the door open and the air conditioner is off. Uh, so, works out great. The other thing, guys, you can't go wrong with the Freedom Breeder Rodent Rack. Uh, Jesse, Custom built this one for me almost five years ago. 
So I've been doing this pushing five years now. And yeah, the thing is unbreakable. Same tubs, same everything. Hoses, rats can't chew through anything. So if you're looking for something like this, want to spend a little extra money and make your life easier, get one of these Freedom Breeder rodent racks. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.